Hey there, folks! This is the Cleric Returns, returning to you with another episode of Who Builds? Who Builds? <laughs> That's not right. Of Building! Who Protects the Protectors? I am your host, the Cleric Returns. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? I'm doing well. I hope you are the same. Today, we still have a plan. It's a miracle. Today, we're going to build river docks. And this is the perfect place for them. Right here. Right here. Cleared out some trees already. So we have plenty of room to work. I would like some docks leading out into the water and a little... Perhaps a boathouse, maybe right over here. In fact, let's let's say yes to that. We're going to do a boathouse right over here, and we will start building it right now. This very moment. Let's take this out as well. That looks wonderful. And we're going to build some boats. I've never built boats in Minecraft before, so it will be an adventure for us all. A little bit larger, I think. Well, that's interesting. Let's try that again. No. No. How did it do that? No. This is a fun experiment. Ah, there we go. <laughs> now I know. Now you know, too. Now we all know. Let's take a look. Oh, that's big enough, I'd say. Well, one more. One more can't hurt. And uh, it's going to have an entrance, and I think I want it one wider <coughs> on this dimension here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeedy do. Indeedy Jim Bob. Alright, foundation for a boathouse done. What else do we want over here? We wanted some docks. And our road is here, and we're going to have to bring it this away. So let's see what we can do with that. I think, I think I'm going to widen this whole road, because it needs to be wider. It just does. You know, you're going to have some, some larger vehicles traveling, uh, supplies and wagons and carts. We should build a wagon, or a cart, or something. Once we have horses, we will add them, just like we're going to add carpet. We will get there someday, I swear. I swear we will. So that looks pretty good. It needs to come away from the sand bit to differentiate. Uh, maybe I want to bring the sand out a little too. Just a bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Yep, let's, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna connect them. We're gonna connect these two pieces of beach. So we have a larger beach. And we should connect it over here too, I guess. Just a little riverside, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Usually at the sides of rivers and lakes, they, well, I suppose it depends on where you're at. Out here in California, they tend to be rocky and just pebbles, if anything, and uh, somewhat unpleasant. So sand, sandy beaches is nice. It's too even. Too, too even. That's much better. I like it. So we've got this here, and we would have a door coming out. We'll, we'll work on that a little bit later. I would like to figure out the specifics of the doxes. So if we got a road, I, we're going to have to take a chunk of that out again, I bet you. But we want some space between the dock and the boathouse, unless we want to put the first dock on the side of the boathouse. That would make sense. If I was to build a civilization, which I am <laughs> in Minecraft, this is what I would do to save money and space. Okay, there we go. Bobbing not required. I think out to there, and we're going to make it too wide. So we can put a fence on there, but I just realized we can't put a fence on there unless we do this. So we will do this. 
And if we're going to do that, we might as well do the full blocks. Much, much faster, much easier. So we'll do that. And then this is going to be a wall here. Let's wall it up while we're at it. One and two. One and two. Here we go. Feels much better. So we're going to fence that, I think. That, see, that's the tough part. Is you want boats. It depends on how tall the boat is, I guess. And you never... That's the thing. You never really see a dock where you have to step down to the dock. Like, you're always stepping up to the dock. You know what I mean? So the boat's got to be down here, so the, the dock's got to be up here. And, and this will still allow us to put a fence, like, on the end, I guess, and maybe... Maybe around this. You know what? Well, let's do it right now. We will do it, and it will be... Butimus. Something about... Something about there. And then you can get on and off the boat there. Kerplunk. Awesome. Alright, next step. So we've got our first dock there. I don't like how tall it is, you know? You know what I mean? But again, like I said, you can't step down to a dock. That's just ridiculous. But this is Minecraft, so, you know, we don't have to exactly play. Did I put something? I did clear you out. Yeah, I think it'll help it once the boathouse is there. It'll make a little more sense. Okay, so you're going to step up there. We'll put some steps there. I think stairs, uh, except for here would be a good idea. Like so. And I think like so. And you can come up on, 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 come on up here! What if we did stairs here as well, so you can step down to the boat? That might be a, a fair idea. We'll come back to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we got a boat there, so we want to leave enough room for the next boat. I, I want to make, I almost want to bring this shoreline out as well. Make it very flat, but that doesn't seem to be a possibility. So I think instead we'll do it in like a tiered tiered flatness, if you will. Uh, something like that. And then bring this guy out. Let's try it. Uh, I need some sand. Sande. So we'll bring this guy out. This guy, he just looks weird. And now, now this guy is, like, way too far back, so I think we'll bring it out, like so. And the rest will just continue along its merry way. Ah, too even. Too even. There we go. Uh, something like, something like that. Now I'm just trying too hard. <laughs> Okay, looks good. And end of the first day. I suppose it's probably time to start talking about a topic instead of what I'm building. It is time to talk about a story. Let's see, how wide do we want this? It is not time yet to talk about a story because we have to measure things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is even. That is sad. I'm going to widen this by one so that we have an odd number and that we can have a center. And... That's good enough for now. We'll move the fence later. So this now becomes one... Oops. Uh, got sand. One, two, three. This would be the center here. And then one, two, three. So this puts our options at having a very wide space, or having, uh, we should definitely do a too wide dock coming out. Like so. Should we have it as, as long, we should have it as long as this other dock, absolutely. Uh, that's how I've always seen it in places that have docks, uh, Lake Tahoe, for example. And this we're just going to end up covering up anyway, so <laughs> I guess it didn't really matter. But we're going to put this here for now. Yeah, too wide. Too wide is good. Mm-hmm. 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 
and we'll we'll figure out this how it transitions here eventually. Uh, this is an awesome size for a boat, and we can have a boat centered, and we'll build a boat later. So we should take this and step it back. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, yeah. So this one we didn't measure either. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make this one seven as well for the sake of symmetry. Oh, that's, um, I feel like I'm counting something wrong here. Let's see, this is five now, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, okay, so five. These these two, come on, fingers. Work with me. These two fingers are where we need to go. Okay, so now that we've got our plan, this one can step it back a few. Yeah, we'll have two spots for boats. And then, you know, technically a boat can become more over here as well, so we should add some, some stuff over this aside. This aside. And five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And, um, or we could, we could even do this even further. But then it kind of gets in the way of the flow of the river, and you gotta worry about hitting boats. Yeah, not worth it. Bringing it back. <laughs> Breathing through my nose. <laughs> Alright. So, stories for today. I've got a couple stories lined up. Just a few. Just one, really, but one story that tells... That includes many stories. As it were. So, I had a best friend for a long, long time. Uh, it's sad to say that we're no longer besties. I think is the, the term the kids are using nowadays. But uh, we went to Colorado once. We drove there from California. Straight. Like, no... No breaks. Uh, we just rotated between. It was me, him, and this other friend, um, who I was not nearly as close with, but he was a he was a fun guy. So my my best friend, his name was Brian, and the other guy, his name was Adam, and they they were just fun people to be around. Hence the reason that I was friends with them. So we decided to drive to Colorado to visit a friend of ours, who had moved there. Uh, perhaps six months prior, maybe a year, and uh, so here's here's some stories. Here's some stories from that. I got my notes up over on the side, and we're ready to go. Let's see. First, first and foremost, I do have some video of this, but I have no idea where it's at. If you request it, I will try and find it. Maybe, <laughs> if you're lucky. How tall? I think one more. We're gonna put a yacht in here. A yacht boat thing. So with Brian and Adam, uh, we left for a whole. We did a whole week there. Uh, I think, including travel, I'm not sure. Some seven, eight, nine days. But as we left, we went to this. We stopped at this rest stop in the middle of. My guess is that it was Utah. I mean, I I don't really know. I think these these are nice touches here. Good enough. This should go down into the water as well. That's that's the other part. Uh, these things I think I'm going to put in the corners. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to do this trick. Yeah, that's on, on. Spot on is what I'm trying to say. Get that, and we'll do this. So we stopped at this rest stop, and I don't know if it was locusts or what, but there was some insect infestation, the likes of which I have never seen nor heard before or since. Like this, I think the door is going to go there. This was a situation, folks. A situation. Uh, they were these massive... Are there walls underwater in uh, boathouses? That's something I don't know. We're just going to go with it, and if I hear differently, we can take them out. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And that's all set, and that's all set. We should uh, change this dirt out. 
for stability. <laughs> for Minecraft stability. So, uh, yeah, these, uh, these gigantic bugs are everywhere. And disgusting everywhere. Is this color right? Yep. Yeah. And I wish, I wish I had pictures to show you right now. It was... These thing, these bugs. Just to clarify the size, most of them were at least as big as my thumb, and I'm a pretty big guy, so that makes these bugs really big. Uh, so yeah, this should have a, a thing over here, and along a side. No. One, two, three, four, five. We do not want something along the side, because that'll make it a skinny boat. We don't want a skinny boat. I think we can do this though. That should be fine. Mm-hmm. I guess. I guess. Maybe we'll put a plank in once we build the boat. But we gotta build a roof first. Uh, we're gonna have it hanging off the side. Out of stairs. Stirs. Do we like it here, or do we want... I think we want it out one. Like so. That's gonna be a, a big roof. But we're just gonna go for it. Because if we don't like it, we can tear it down. So, yeah, these big bugs, and there are hundreds of thousands of bugs. They are literally everywhere. We are rolling over them with the car and feeling them. Again, they are large. Uh, how are we going to do this? Like so. Uh, we are feeling them. They are gross. We get out, take some pictures, and try to avoid stepping on any of them because it would have been a big squishy gross mess I'm sure I'm grossing some of you out now so we'll, we'll move on, we'll finish this story another time I guess uh, no, that's pretty much it, it was just gross oh, I, I remember now I remember the location of it uh, the place was uh, Butte Butte Mountain uh, BM the initials for Butte Mountain, for those who can't initial things. Uh, and that in and of itself was, was laughs for, or at least chuckles, for about a half an hour. <laughs> BM, uh, Butt Mountain, uh. Anyway. We, I was much younger. We were all much younger. This was sh shortly after high school. This is gonna look good. Uh, add there, okay. Uh -huh. Let's see, next on my story list of Colorado happenings, uh, we've got, uh, oh, wrong topic, ah, 24-hour drive, already talked about that, Sonic Drive-In, for those of you who are not privileged to have a Sonic Drive-In near you, I pray that you find one someday and go to it and eat at Sonic Drive-In. Why? Because it is a unique experience. You drive up. Is this gonna be? This is gonna be way too tall. I think we should um, cap it somehow. Need some slabby slabs. Do we have? We built something out of slabs. I think some of this over here. Yes. Awesome. Oh, day two. I must tell my stories faster. So we. Where were we? We were at. We passed Butt Mountain and Sonic Drive-In. Yeah, so the first one that I ever went to was in Colorado, and I was flabbergasted and astounded that they had not made their way to California yet, or at least as far as I know. I think there were some down in L.A. at that time. But it's, uh, like I said, a unique dining experience where you order from your car, you drive up, you pull into the stall. Right, I should make a Sonic Drive-In in, mine, in Minecraft. That would be awesome. Some other time. Some other world. Uh, let's see. I want it like that. And let me just do a quick planning. Mm. See, that's going to look kind of weird, isn't it? That's just going to be funky. I didn't level anything off here. You know, I, I think we might have to tear this out. Out. So sad. And drop this all by one. Okay, we're gonna do it. 
we're doing it. Like we said, it is Minecraft and you can just redo things. At least we're using the same color scheme. How does that look? Terrible. <laughs> Let's move move on from that thought. Uh, where was I? Yes, Sonic Drive-In. So you pull up in your car and you get into this. You park in a stall and you push a button and order your food from a speaker and a car hop comes out and gives you your food, 50 style. And uh, the food, eh, it's fast food. You know, it's not uh, your highest premium quality, but it is good. And they have uh, breakfast burritos 24-7, or however, <laughs> whenever they're open, they have breakfast burritos. Uh, there's no end on it, like McDonald's or other stupid places. Which, nah, I won't comment on that. So, alright, we gotta do this side too, but I'm gonna, we're gonna do this first. So Sonic Drive-In, and, you know, I had a breakfast burrito at 5 in the afternoon. I guess that would be evening. In Colorado. And it was a blast. Uh, I think we got video of that, too. I remember Brian being like, here we are at Sonic Drive-In. It's a drive, drive up, not a, or drive, yeah, drive up, not a drive through, something like that. He's a goofy guy. I miss him. He's a missionary pilot now. He just graduated, and uh, is he I'm trying to remember where he is in his in his situation. I know he was he's been training. That's what it was. He was training as a uh, mechanic because he's going to be a basically the equivalent of a bush pilot. I just realized I think these are going to come together just just so just nicely. Uh, so, yeah, I miss the guy. He's He's been gone for many years, um, very sadly. Alright, I need to focus. For some reason, I'm, I'm going to stretch here. Wake up a bit. I had some wine with my spaghetti for dinner that my wife made and was delicious. Spaghetti and meatballs. Um... Looking at my lists next. Uh, well, let's skip that one. We'll come back to it because that's on the drive home. Uh, giant boxing gloves. So the the house that we stayed at there was we were just staying with a friend of our friend. So that was an interesting experience sitting in a house of somebody I had never met or even heard of. Such a nice guy though. Uh, until we made fuzz come out of his carpet by uh, his new carpet, which is normal behavior by the way. Fuzz came out of his new carpet and he freaked out a bit because we were being active <laughs> downstairs um, with these gigantic boxing gloves. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a big guy, like I've said, uh, tall, six foot five, for those of you who would like to know. And that can be fun because uh, I can throw people around uh, gently, of course. That's a good roof. I like it. Let's fill this in. I think we can do all this. Yes. Even there. Perfect! There we go. Come on. Uh, I've, I've got a growing headache, so I will try and keep this short. How's our sun? We are good almost into our ending our third day, and we finished our boathouse. It needs a door, which is in redstone, I remember. door. Boathouse. Hello! Should we bring this around here? I think it'll depend on what we build over here. But yes, we've got ourselves a boathouse. That's pretty cool. Let's see, should we do... Should we do anything like that? Like so. Hmm. <laughs> yep, why not? Uh, just add some dimension, some difference. Like that, and then this is a full block, I think, right? Yeah. Here. Is that... Did I do that? I did, I did do that right. So 
let's see, final piece of the story, so uh, Garden of the Gods, we went to Garden of the Gods while we were out there, which uh, is these gigantic rock formations, and, you know, we just kind of went hiking around, and it's it's highly unusual formations, they're just like these rocks that shoot up straight into the air with nothing really around them. Um, trying to think of... Yeah, you'll see stuff like that in Minecraft sometimes. So I think uh, while we're chatting here, we need to add some color to this to this place. I'm debating if this is the right color. We'll go for it, and if we hit it, like always, we can redo it. And look, it worked out perfect. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do this. Right, two, three, boom, boom. Okay, so Garden of the Gods, really cool. Spent a day there, hiked around. Uh, we saw it's a national monument, I I think. It's definitely like federal state park, not just uh, or federal <laughs> federal state park. It's a federal park, not just a state park. I think I think that's correct. I'm not entirely sure, um, but definitely a ma national monument. And we need slabs of that. Let me find them. So we hiked around there. It was it was a good experience to have. Um, just a cool place. Took some pictures, the usual. And then what do we do after that? We went to. Seven pools or something like that. I don't know. It was, it was this random uh, place where the this mountain stream came out of the mountains and cascaded. I guess perhaps not the right word, but it pooled in these seven different pools, seven or nine. I forget the number. And it was like this secret Colorado. Oh, that's probably not the right word. Colorado people hidden treasure. Uh, local local spot. Know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Whatever you know that I mean is what I'm saying. So, that was fun. <laughs> you bored yet? Uh, then we went to Pike's Peak, which was awesome. And scary. So, first of all, the thing to know about Pike's Peak is that the con concrete cement asphalt road runs out at one point, and is interesting. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it for now. Uh, I'm not, I'm not feeling like I'm in the mood to really do a whole lot with this. That's, that's hideous. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? So, uh, Pike's Peak. So, Pike's Peak, the, the road runs out, and you're on, you end up on a gravel, like a gravel dirt road. Wait, that's not right. Uh, which, you know, it wouldn't be too bad if you were in, say, an, a modern car. Uh, but instead, we were in, like, about a 15 year old Lincoln town car massive boat that it was, and my my friend did not know how to drive safely in his vehicle. Well, that looks... that looks weird from the inside. <laughs> That's okay. So let's, let's watch the setting sun through our, our newly created window, and go for a swim in the boathouse. Uh, Pike's Peak, so it runs out, and he was, like, trying to... Uh, not burn out, but drift around the corners in his giant Lincoln with four people, in, five people in the car, and it was insane. And when you get to the top, there's so little oxygen uh, th that they have an oxygen bar, uh, not just for emergencies, but for for recreational oxygen inhaling. Uh, and you can see for forever, like forever, forever. It's crazy. And on the way home. After we'd visited Pike's Peak and Garden of the Gods and all these wonderful things, uh, my friend Brian, who was not driving at the time, decided that he needed to. A... Do I want to share this story? 
<laughs> Probably not. You know what, we'll share that another time. Uh, the sun has set, telling us that it is time to move on to the next episode. So until next time, thanks for watching, leave a like, cleric out. <laughs>